hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a u pathway very simple and easy it gives you the freedom to remove them and take care of your hair underneath and your scalp as well and then reinstall it anytime you like and very versatile and since this is made by you like <laughs> what i'm doing right now you are free to have a custom look to fit your own head perfectly so there are two main popular methods you can use for this creation the sewing method and the hot glue gun method so the things you need for this method is the wig cap or the u part wig cap the foam head and the pins you need scissors, C curved needles or straight ones, your thread, and your hair of your choice. You know, uh, I don't know why I love using my straight needle because I find it much more easier to use that than the C curved needle. I really don't know why. I always have to struggle to use the C curved needle. Like it's not my thing. But <laughs> oh dear lord so of course the hair i'm using is my internal she box hair i'm using all three bundles and if you can see if you can watch very closely i'm sewing as close as possible because this is a lot of hair and i want to fix all this hair on my cap here so this is my c curve middle i have a whole lot of this the small one the big one but I don't like using the C curve needle so much. I always love the straight one. <laughs> so before you start making your wig, decide how much leave out you want to leave and mark accordingly on your wig curve. This will help avoid making the U part too large or too small. It's very unnecessary to make it too large because I never want to leave too much hair always make sure to leave just a little bit tiny tiny little bit that is good than to leave a whole lot of hair so as you begin sewing on the final rows of tracks make sure they are laying as flat as possible and close to each other this will make styling and blending much so freaking easier and why do people sew on the elastic band? I do not understand this. Or have ears, okay? So you have to make sure you you measure your where your ears are, measure it exactly, and apply it directly on the net, just like what you're seeing here. And make sure not to sew through there. Always make sure to leave a room around where your ears are on your net cap. After all this drama, when you fit your wig cap or your U part wig, it's going to fit your head perfectly and nicely. Going to have freedom of movement. Trust me, it works. It works a lot. Don't disturb your ears, leave a room for your ears also.
then divide it into just like this and find the center and if you see here it this also have a center line so i'm going, just going to place my center place it on the center line and then i just to get the right merge of it This is where I am now. I'm going to comb through the hair nicely. It's nice and soft, very juicy, beautiful, long, and sassy. So I'm going to make one big plait and continue. So stay tuned. do this just to get the hair out of the way for me to continue sewing in peace without any hair disturbing me i hate that <laughs> so let's continue 